That's right, there is no bingo. It's a game of deception. Bookmaker Peter Ma says he's cracked the bingo code. The National Bingo Night sucks people in. They think they're going to win, but in most cases, they're on a loser. No bingo! Channel 7's National Bingo Night promises to have studio contestants raking in the cash while the whole family can participate at home. But Peter reckons you're all out of luck before you even start. You can predict which numbers will come up and you can also predict uh, which numbers won't come up. Peter downloaded dozens of game cards off the internet at different times and began to see a disturbing pattern. These are some games I downloaded from the net and so you can see here number one came up frequently, other numbers that came up a lot are four, there's another one I predicted, seven came up a lot of times, ten was another number that came up a lot of times and fourteen. Sure enough, his suspicions were confirmed when he tuned in to November the 4th show. Every number he'd identified came up. B1. Oh. B4. Oh. B7. Oh. B10. Oh. B14. Oh. Good guessing. That confirmation sent the Brisbane bookie into overdrive. And then the penny really dropped when he watched how the numbered balls were selected. You see the ball go through a little tunnel, but you never see the number on the ball, and the ball that comes out is the ball that they want you to have on your numbers game. Let's push that trigger. We did manage to catch the number on this ball in the tunnel. It's number 66. But wait, the ball pulled out by the magical barrel girl is... N36. In fact, you never see a ball travel through the tube and into the barrel girl's hands. Further proof the show is rigged and the giant barrel is merely a prop. Yes, the idea is for the people at home to think they've nearly won every time and keep them glued. Are you ready to play Australia? This is precisely why National Bingo Night is one of the greatest competition cons ever played upon the Australian public. Hundreds of thousands of viewers are holding cards that will never win. And the producers know they'll never win because the numbers are predetermined. An admission they make in the fine print on the show's website. So... Why do it? So that people don't change the channel. So they keep watching because they've got four numbers and they're sure they're going to get the fifth one. No. But no, it's already controlled, it's manipulated. And, and that's where it becomes unethical in that they've put all the viewers at home in a position where they think they're going to win, but only 167 will win at the maximum. We put Peter to the test. Three days before last Sunday night show went to air, we asked him to predict the numbers. Make no mistake, it is definitely Oaks Day, Ladies Day, the 8th of November. Let's see what tips you have for bingo next Sunday, the 11th of November. Right in the first game, in the red game, numbers 2, 18 and 56 will come up for sure, as well as 36 and 39. In the second game, the white one, 39 and 75 the sure things, as well as probably 1 and 17. In the last game, I bet my house and car on numbers 16 and 63, as well as numbers 3, 5 and 46 will probably come up. Fast forward three days to Sunday and Peter's hometown of Brisbane. Let's see if his predictions are on the money. 56 will come up for sure. D56. Oh, oh, number 56. 18. 18. Hey. 18. Okay. Two. 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 Oh, 36 and 39. 36. Uh, oh. And 39. 39. 39. Right, that's the other number. How so we got our we got our five numbers on that so game. So your two eighteen fifty six have come up, yep. plus thirty six and thirty nine. That's right. Just about everybody had had four out of five numbers and waiting for one number, but they wouldn't get it. Let's see if he's as lucky with game two. Thirty nine and seventy five are sure things. Seventy five, thirty nine. Jeffrey said thirty nine and seventy five would come up yep. in this game, and yep. they have seventeen. I seventeen. <laughs> was manufactured to bring up a game early so that the person doesn't win. Sure enough, in game two, three of Peter's numbers come up. Now to game three, and miraculously, Peter picks the second number drawn for the third game in a row. 63. 63. Five. There's the five. Okay, okay. so that's, an, that's another one. So we've got, got the five as one of the probables. Here the contestant needs to draw a ball featuring a nine to win the Jeep Cherokee. He's led to believe it's a possibility. It's got to be a nine now, surely. Need that nine. It's a three, just as our bookie predicted. And remember, Peter also picked 16 as a dead certainty, and time is running out. Five, 16. Oh, phew. wow. 
Yeah, thank God. Oh, oh, it's really hurt. Yeah, that <laughs> probably means somebody will have uh, bingo because um, 16 was, as I said, on every one of those games. Sure enough, the duped contestant walks home without a car. As the viewers wake up to this scam, I'm sure the ratings will drop and I would say after about the first six weeks there'll be no bingo! Elise Mooney with that report and if you've had any issues with that program send us an email or give